All right, cool. So in order to get started with building the mobile menu, let us quickly see how it works on the actual template. So we can see that when we minimize the window, we can see that the mobile menu appears after a certain breakpoint. And you also realize that the main group right here does not overlap the line that is separating the two sides. So for example, when we go ahead and minimize the window, you can see that it is not overlapping this line. And then after a certain breakpoint, the desktop menu disappears, but then the mobile menu appears here at the bottom. And we have our five menu tabs, which are the overview, users, content, tracks, and the logout button. So we will also implement the similar behavior in our bubble app. So let's go back and go to the editor. And then first things first, we want to make sure that the main contents group does not have um, a top margin as well as a right margin when the app is on a mobile screen. So we will go to the conditional tab and then here we can say top margin should be set to zero and then the right margin should also be set to zero. Now what we want to do now is to go to the responsive tab and then we want to determine at which point does the main group overlap the line that is separating the two sides. So the borderline is just right there if you can see it. And we can see that when the screen is at 1280 pixels, the main group starts to overlap that borderline. So we obviously want to set it at a screen width that does not make this group overlap the borderline. So I think we can go ahead and set it to something else. So I will go ahead and click on the main contents group. And instead of saying 992, I will go ahead and say 1300 like that. And that means that this menu also has to disappear at 1300 pixels like that. So let us now go and check the behavior by updating the page. And now I will minimize the window. And as you can see, the left hand side menu is still on the screen. So I will slowly minimize the page and we can see that it's just starting to overlap. But then when we go ahead, there it disappears and we can see that now we are on a mobile device. So that means that at that same breakpoint, we want to go ahead and show the menu at the bottom. So I will go ahead and enlarge the window. And now to go ahead and add the menu, I will go to the UI builder and I will go ahead and add a floating group. So I will say floating and then I'll just go ahead and add it on the page like that. And I will name it mobile menu. And under the appearance tab, we're going to say at the bottom and let's quickly change its color so that we can see it more clearly. So I will say flat color and any color will do. So I'll just click this purple. And so far we can see that it's at the bottom of the page, but it's not really occupying the full width of the page. So I'll go to layout and since all the elements will be placed horizontally, I will click on row and I'll make sure that the width is a hundred percent. And then for the height, I will set it to 80 pixels. I think that will be sufficient. And under the appearance tab, we want to go ahead and edit our mobile menu. So I will change the color to this color here. And then when we go back to the template, you will realize that there is a top border right here, which is of a different color. So we also want to change that right here. So I will say define each border independently and I will say solid. And I think we can set the width to four. And for the color, I think we can set it to this color right here. All right, perfect. And then of course, we want to go ahead and set the conditions. So I will go to the main contents group. 
just so that I can copy this expression. And I will go to the floating group and paste in this expression. And then I will say this element should be visible. And I'll define another condition. And I'll say when the current page is higher than 1300, then we want to make sure that it's not visible. Just let me make sure that I check this checkbox. So it will not be visible at this breakpoint, but it will be visible um, when it's lower or equal to this breakpoint. So I will refresh the page. So let's check how everything works. So I will go ahead and minimize the window. All right, cool. So we can see that the mobile menu appears on the screen. Let me just remove this. Okay, perfect. And then now when you go ahead and enlarge the window, perfect. We can see that the mobile menu disappears, but then the desktop menu appears on the page. So this is working perfectly. So I will go back and then we want to make sure that the page also changes color, um, particularly to this color right here when the mobile menu appears on the screen. So I will just copy this and I'll come back to the page itself and I'll say when current page width is lower or equal to this, we want to change the color to this color right here. So let us go back and refresh and minimize the window. Nice. So we can see now that the color of the background also changes to the color that we have set. So we are looking pretty similar to our template right now. So let's go ahead and add our menu tabs on the mobile menu. So I will enlarge the screen and go back to the editor. And then I'll go ahead and add a group, which will be used to contain our icon and menu title. So here I will say group overview. Actually, let me say mobile overview. And then since the height of this floating group is 80 pixels, I think we can make our menu tabs a bit less than that. So I will set them to 60 by 60 so that they can be perfect squares. And I will center it vertically like that. And then I'll go ahead and add our icon. And let me set the width and height to 25 by 25. And under appearance, we should use bar chart number two. And then the default color should be this one right here. And I think we can make this menu tab um, aligned to parent. And then we can add a top margin of maybe six. And then after that, we can go ahead and place a text element right there. Let me just make sure that it's placed at the bottom. And the width, let us set it to 60 since our group is 60 by 60. And I think for the height, I think we can set that to an even number like 20. And now I will simply say overview. After that, we want to go ahead and change the style. So I think we can use um, Open Sans. Um, let's try 700. And then we need to just decrease this a little bit. So I'll say 12. And then for the, for the color, it should be this one. And we can center the text vertically. All right, perfect. And now, obviously, we want that when um, dashboards selected tab is overview, we obviously want to change the color to purple. 
and I will copy this expression, paste it within the icon and change the color again to purple. Okay, so let us just go back and refresh to see how the page is now looking with our new mobile menu. So I will minimize the window. All right, I think we're looking pretty good. So right now we just need to add the rest of the menu tabs. So I'll go back. And it's really now a simple process of um, duplicating everything and just changing the names. So I will say um, users. And let's just remove that. And obviously this should be users as well. And let me change the condition to users again. Come back here, change it to users. Perfect. Oh, I think we need to align that in the center. Let me go back and do the same here. And then I'll duplicate that. And this one should be content. And then I will go to the conditions and say content. And obviously we'll need to change the icon to plus circle and change the text here and the condition. And then of course, we also need to add another menu tab for tracks. So I will say tracks, copy that and change the condition. Oh, right. So here we actually don't need a condition. Um, and then I'll say music and then I'll say tracks again, and we can remove the condition. Um, and then we can go ahead and duplicate this. And this will be for logging out. So I'll say log out. And then I will come here and say log out. And I'll paste that within there. Perfect. So now we just need to align them properly within this um, row. So I will click on the floating group and come to layout and here we can say space around and then lastly what we want to do is that we want to um, copy the workflows that change the custom state of the page so i will come here and click on start or edit workflow and i'll simply come here copy this action and paste it in there and I'll say overview. And then I will pretty much do the same for the rest of the menu tabs. So I'll click that, start or edit workflow, paste that in there, change it to users. And lastly, we wanna do the same thing for the content menu tab. Paste that in there, change it to content. All right, so we have pretty much completed our mobile menu. So let us update the page. And moment of truth, I will go ahead and minimize the window. And there we can see that the mobile menu looks absolutely perfect. And when I click on users, we can see that the page changes. And when I click on content, the custom state changes because we can see that is highlighted by purple. And when I click on overview, the overview group appears on the page. So we can say that we have successfully added a mobile menu on our app. So we can go ahead and build the users menu tab, which will be placed on the main contents group right here.